checking in. Tanner and I are loading up, heading to our spot. And then it'll be open the day here in less than an hour. West Virginia. Good luck, old buddy. <laughs> All right, we're breaking off. There she is, guys. There she is. I noticed she had a lot of white, too. Yeah. Big old mountain doe out of West Virginia. I'm happy. Made a perfect shot. Alright guys, I got the deer completely cut up in my pack and I'm actually going to head towards the truck and probably hunt somewhere till dark because I still got a buck tag. My buddy Jason, he'll be hunting somewhere close to. We're going to start moseying back. We're probably two miles from the truck, I guess. And it's pretty steep terrain, some of it, so about two o'clock we got about three hours left of daylight so see what happens mm -hmm. right that is day one hunt Adam was able to harvest the doe too he got her on the pack so two deer today we got down no bucks though unfortunately Hopefully that is for tomorrow. But overall, good day in Deerwood. A little windy, but other than that, nice weather. So, we're headed out. Well, we're out here in West Virginia, hunting the big mountains. It's November 23rd, and it is a cold one. Squirrels have been working like crazy all morning. Didn't see anything. We decided we are going to drive some deer at 9 o'clock to each other and I stood up and lo and behold there was a couple right behind me the whole time. Who knows how long they've been there. But her small buck and this doe here is running with them and uh, 
where we're hunting they gotta be 14 inches wide he just wasn't big enough so we let him go for another year but uh thankful we're out here we got one on the ground makes three deer now she's a good eater too so i'm blessed it's hold great. her up show the camera great day to be alive That's how about great. it nice though couldn't be happier nice job buddy just love coming out and enjoying creation and you know, we're, we're fortunate as hunters and as Americans that we have the freedoms to do this and and uh, couldn't be happier being out here with my best bud Vaughn bringing me out here and showing me all these good spots and just having a great time and having some success doing it. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. <laughs> good job. Unfortunately I wasn't able to get it on camera. They came really quick and I didn't have time to get the camera. But just had a couple doe run up to me and skirt around the bottom of this hollow. They wouldn't stop, and I couldn't get them to stop. They went over on the side hill. Eventually, they shot, or they stopped, but uh, took me three shots. <laughs> they were running. I couldn't get them to slow down, but we were able to get. West Virginia Public Lando with the help of some good buddies. <laughs> yeah, hey, oh boy. I'm filming. You're filming. Alright. I might be staying up here. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say, uh, probably got a little tender going down through here. But, uh, Vaughn and Jason pushed out the hollow. They came around, I was on this point back here, and they came around to my left, and they circled around the bottom. And I couldn't hit them while they were running. How many shots did you shoot? Just one. <laughs> Three. <laughs> hey. But. Sometimes it takes four. Sometimes it does. It's only three, so we're able to get a doe. And uh pretty nice one too. Boys. Yeah. So Good now doe. we we all got does. We got four doe and uh two oh. days. Yeah. And we still got quite a bit of today left, so we need bucks now. Yeah. We're on a mission now. Yep. Got some meat in the freezer. Hold her head up. Pretty good doe. All right, guys, I forgot my camera in the truck. I actually didn't forget it, but I was driving deer to my buddies earlier and actually really wasn't expecting to shoot anything, so I didn't bring it. But anyways, my buddies, this was basically the last drive of the day. It's Wednesday, we're heading home tomorrow's Thanksgiving, and they were doing one last push to me. 
and as you can see it's a big like a gas line or something it's real thick so i ended up just sitting right here and lo and behold i heard a deer coming and it runs 15 yards and a doe comes right up and almost runs me over cuts back runs down in there and stops all of a sudden i start hearing grunting right there but i can't see unless they come out in the opening and like i said earlier in the video maybe a day or so two ago is for we're hunting yet they have to be 14 inches wide so you kind of have to watch what you shoot you just can't be shooting anything so i hear grunting and all of a sudden a buck appears and i knew it was a legal one it's a pretty good one as you'll see here and there was really no shots and he ran back cut back right before and i i knew i was going to lose him because it's so thick and i had one little opening through the brush i probably shot through brush i shoot a 308 but it did its job i connected and the deer's about 50 yards in the brush my buddies tanner and adam we're going to go in and look at it so. Yeah, I didn't have to. When he looked at me, I'm like, I don't have to think twice, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably 17 or so, 16, 17, outside. Okay, guys, here's my buck. It came up to me, like, coming up to me, like I said, at like 20 yards. I had to shoot through brush. It ended up being a pretty nice one, and I threaded the needle. And there's, there he is. Thank you, Adam. Thank you, Tanner. Appreciate it, boys. What a trip. We've killed five deer now in three days. It's not too bad for public land. But good old deer. I'm really happy. <laughs> this was our last day to hunt. Probably the last hour we were going to hunt. But it happened. <laughs> While you keep hunting. Same with fishing. Persistency. Energy to win. Alright, here's my buck. Crew. Right here, these two. Tanner and Adam drove this old mountain buck out to me. Awesome. Heck of a day. Thank you guys. Not bad for the old PA boys. Not bad. <laughs> like I said earlier, five years and three days. Well, two and a half days. We learned. We learned. <laughs> yeah. No doubt about that. It's tough hunting. It is. It was fun. It's rewarding when you do finally get one. <laughs>